what's up guys welcome back to another video and this is another baseball reaction and the video that we're reacting to is the science of hitting a major league fastball which is isn't it a, um, a pitch that's over like 95 to 100 miles per hour i think it will say this is a very very short video and it's a bit different to the usual one i just saw someone suggest it and i thought you know what i do enjoy these sort of more unique kind of videos when i'm reacting to sports and this is one of those man because again the sort of the ability you need to throw the ball that like so at a certain speed obviously it's like it's an incredible sort of attribute you can have and wait what does it say in the hitters only have 125 milliseconds to gauge the average god damn <laughs> so that's one two that's one eighth of a second they have <laughs> wait what less than the blink of an eye which begs the question what the hell they <laughs> They have one eighth of a second to react to it. That is wild. I didn't even realize that. God, okay, that is that, that has sort of changed my perspective of this. I didn't realize how insanely crazy it was because obviously you see it in videos of like fast pitches. You don't actually. Well, I say you don't. I personally never sort of deeped how crazy it really is. Like to see, like actually see it. Okay, well, let's get into it. Man. I'm intrigued to see, and I'm hoping it says how fast it is to be considered a fast. But I think it is. 100 miles per hour, I might be wrong. I am really, really interested, so it's a bit different, but... Yogi Berra said hitting, you can't fastball. think and hit at the same time. That's true, and if we're man. talking about hitting a major league fastball, he was absolutely right. It does there just doesn't seem to be that. enough time for a hitter's... Noah Syndergaard, average fastball speed, 97. Brother, how are you doing that? The strain in your arms, you must feel that when you're old. ...brain to process a 95 mile an hour fastball and react quickly enough to hit it. Average the the distance from the rubber to home plate is 60 feet 6 inches. Subtracting 5 or 6 feet to account for the pitcher's stride, it takes a fastball traveling at 90 to 95 miles an hour, about 400 milliseconds to get from the pitcher's hand to the catcher's mitt. The batter is already at a disadvantage because it takes the human brain around 80 to 100 milliseconds just to process the image that the eyes are taking in. What? On top of that, it's going to take 150 milliseconds on average to get his bat around to meet the ball, <laughs> and 25 milliseconds for his brain to send the signal to his body to swing. That leaves him with just 125 milliseconds Bro. to gauge the pitch and decide whether or not to go for it. To put this in perspective, it takes 300 to 400 milliseconds just to blink. If the pitch looks good, the better- Sh No way. No way is that true. <laughs> so you could do two blinks in that time, maybe three if you're slow. has a seven millisecond window to meet the ball in a position <laughs> where he will put it in play. If he's too early or too late, the best he can hope for is a foul ball. So Man. how is this humanly possible? Well, for one, it helps to have good eyesight. The average MLB player has 20-12 vision, and it's a quality scouts look at when assessing players. I didn't even realize this was the case. I just thought, like, in sport, the like the, the physical side was the most important part. I didn't even deep, like, the eyesight. 20-12, I don't actually know what that means, but I guess it means you have the best possible vision for, like, a human. It also helps to get a head start. Hitters will begin their forward motion Reaction before time the pitch is really delivered. Well. They have about 50 milliseconds to decide to check their swing. After that, that the bat will be moving too fast to be stopped. But the ultimate trait that helps major leaguers hit the fastball is the ability to see into the future. Well, Dicks. sort of. Our Dicks, brains are yeah. really good at anticipating information that we haven't yet received to make up for our lag in vision. Researchers at UC Berkeley tested this by showing volunteers flash drag that illusions like this one. If you pause the video, you see the red and blue dots actually appear in the same position. But while watching it in motion, they look slanted in the Wait. direction that the background is rotating. This is because our brains are predicting Wait, the motion what? of the dots based on the information we're receiving from this the movement of the, the background. The same applies in baseball. Hitters begin predicting the trajectory of the ball based on the Ooh. movement of the pitcher's arm before it even leaves his hand. This makes up for the fact that he won't actually see the pitch until it's a quarter of the way towards it. Mate. So you have to admit, hitting a major league fastball seems nothing short of superhuman. This is a random video, I tell you what, this is a random suggestion, but yo, this really puts into perspective how wild it really is. 125 milliseconds. That just just the thought of that, like you can do two, three blinks in that time. That is, how is that even possible? And I mean, obviously, in I'm guess I guess with someone said it's not called, not mini league. It's called the 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 kid, the younger kid, like the younger people's version. Not is it mini league? 
Wait, oh, I don't have to search that up. Like, the kids obviously don't throw as fast, but they still have to react at a certain point. It just blows my mind how they even do it. I guess, like you said, anticipation or like however you predict it is a key factor in if you're going to hit it or not. Which also must mean they have to research a lot of the picture because obviously if you know what the picture's known for, you're going to have a better chance of hitting it, etc. Et I'm struggling to talk. And people say baseball is easy. I tell you what, this video really did put into perspective how like wild and how like gifted these guys really are. It, like when, when you see videos like this, it makes you appreciate how much how much talent they really have and it's just like god damn but the thing is i've never seen people say baseball is an easy sport maybe that's just because i'm not really seeing people talk about it as much i've never considered baseball an easy sport from someone who used to not really be familiar with the sport i just didn't really sort of understand how technically gifted like physically and like your eyesight exactly you had to really be but like seeing again seeing this video i've said this like five times it really does put an eye-opening factor into how crazy they really are. It's, these sorts of videos are really great at explaining these sort of things, and I would love to see more like this. I mean, they're random. I'm not sure how it's going to go down. Again, it's very, very short, and I'm sorry for that. And actually, I see a video in the suggested why it's almost impossible to throw 110 mars, m mph fastball miles per hour. I'm struggling to talk so much. That could be quite a fun video to see. If you want to see that and you're at this point of the video, please suggest, man, because I love seeing videos that, that are just sort of just a bit unique a bit random that aren't the same sort of same sort of thing and more like an in just a more in-depth look into the psychology and the sort of the other sporting aspects in it in the sports but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and again i'm sorry it's a short video but yeah just suggest some more things you want to see and until next time like subscribe and peace